I, so we're getting prepared, activated, ready for this transmission of spirit, yes? And we're going to be talking about those aliens. You can call them extraterrestrials, ETs. There's even something called metaterrestrials and ultraterrestrials. We'll be talking about that today. Welcome. Let me make sure the live is, we got sound, we got lights. Um, we also have action. Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me okay? Is the sound okay? <laughs> My chiwa. And I appreciate you, Holy One. <laughs> you guys, if there's any problems with the sound, let me know. I'm truly grateful to be here in your presence. We're sharing our space together. Yes. We are coming together in our awakening. We're growing together in our ascension. This is... Team Indigo, <laughs> Team Starseed, Holy One. And so we call these uh, a family celebration or get together. <laughs> Thank you so much for this reunion. And it's like our, our, you would say, ceremony, our ritual. Because we come here, just so you guys know, for newcomers, I'm here twice a week. Today, it's Tuesdays and Saturdays, around 6 p.m. Central Pacific Standard, Pacific Standard Time. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late sometimes. I mean, I started like around 4.30 getting ready. <laughs> so uh, anyways, thank you guys for being here. It's an interesting topic, and I do put 63 ancient aliens. And first of all, 63, there's more than 63. I had to come up with some number. And anyways, I just want you guys, I want to preface this and let you know that, oh, of course, there's many more aliens and ETs in the universe, in the cosmos. But we're talking about the ones mostly, the key word is mostly the ones who are involved. Because there's many that we could list, but there's a, a certain amount that are heavily involved in the human earth drama. And I don't mean they're all coming from Earth or something. I mean, they come to this Earth drama. Now, also realize when you talk about aliens and guardians, well, just realize there's a polarity. You would say an agenda, or it's better to say, uh, you know, they they're vibrate to a certain path. There's two main paths that you could follow. Maybe there's more, but... The main ones that you choose um, are either the law of one and understanding that all are creations of creator, all are part of what is God, all are God. This is one choice. Okay, so some of these aliens, some of these ETs, entities, whatever you want to call them, are following the law of one. That's the good team, the good side, the, the good guys, the white hats. Okay, we're all good. Uh, what? So, now we know that there's some who are following the exact opposite of Law of One. Okay, well, the Guardians are pro-unity. That's what it's called, unity. When all come as, together as one, that's uniting as one. Well, there's others who don't like that, who don't want that, who don't agree with that, who don't believe in that. So, mo a lot of these aliens we're going to be talking about are anti-Christos, against life, against earth, against humans, against all life. That is the path of chaos. So, we, we're going to talk about a bunch of aliens. Yeah! <laughs> but just realize, some of them are negative. Okay? Some would say, you know, like our friend, our sister, Lisa Renee, she calls them... Um, negative alien agenda like they're instead of calling them some people don't like to call them fallen angelics because the inner crystals law of one we call them angels and the ones who are following chaos are fallen angels 
but they're also multi-dimensional. That means they live in different realities levels. There's more than one reality level, okay? And these beings, that's what part of tonight is about. That's why we put in the multiverse. There's layers where these beings are coming from. So we're going to talk about them and also show where they're coming from. Okay? Now, um, beings don't travel. They're not, they're not doing this through light speed, homie. You don't get from point A to point B by traveling at the speed of light. The truth is, the reality is, is that they're using stargates. They're jumping from one vibration to another vibration, another vibration. So there's a network of stargates that they travel. No, you could say jump to, jump. Aliens don't get here by traveling here. They jump here. They go through a stargate here. Poof. Now they're in our local system. They leave through the stargate now they're outside and went to outside our terrestrial world now inside a their extraterrestrial world in another dimension so thank you guys for joining us this is what we're going to be talking about tonight and let me say hello make sure there's no issues <laughs> looks like we got Celine, we got Indigo, my moderators. Starman's not coming in. And that's okay. We love Starman. We have Alchemist first one. Yes. Alchemist, I've had entities telling me to quit it constantly. Okay, I don't even have to read the rest of it. When, when someone is telling you what to do, it's not the guardians, holy ones. Guardians do not criticize, do not control, do not manipulate, do not command, do not tell you what you should do and shouldn't do. Right there is your first clue. Much respect. <laughs> Constantly when I use emerald related energy meditations. But when using universal diamond pillar, well, you're, you're mixing up the terminologies a little bit. That's not what the guardians call it, but... Uh, now, now you're talking about a capstone. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about that, brother. Oh, that's why. You're getting your information from Lisa Renee. Excuse me. Much respect. Um, she is not... Like... Like, she has some teachings from the crystals material, from the inner crystals law of one. She was once a student of Ashiana. That was back in the early 2000s. Lisa Renee has blossomed into her own. So now you're talking about things that's coming from her, uh, you would say, perspective. So. And now you're talking about Riche staff. Not all, not everyone's following um, her her information. So just so you know, uh, there is something called the Emerald Covenant, which is the blue flame. And there's nothing about a capstone, uh, at least that that I'm aware of, or that's talked about in Kathara. It's not talked about in um, sliders. So, anyways. If you're being attacked, there's a reason why you're being attacked. It's not because you're running a guardian technique. <laughs> um, realize there could be another issue going on. Like you have something, some issues with your energies, uh, some things that you're doing or saying or believing in. Um, something also could be in your household with you, like a friend, a partner who's bringing this shit in. First thing is, if you're having issues with dark entities, it was straight up. The first thing you should think of is protecting, defend, go into protection mode. Okay? And this will go for a lot of these beings that we're talking about tonight. You will want to know guardian protection. You want to know how to throw up your shields, your plasma shield, your maharic shield, um, whatever shield. Uh, get into shielding, get into cleansing and purifying. Voila, right there. 
Get your space in order. Get your energies in order. Get your life in order. And then you won't be seeing dark entities. Um, that's for sure. And it also means that your technique isn't working right. Whatever you learned from Lisa Renee. Um, why, why don't you learn some of these hardcore uh, Kalantic science techniques, Kathara techniques. You know, some of them have 20 plus, 30 plus steps. Okay? And it, it's all done through mental constructs. You're m moving energy and you, you're taught how to learn, move the energy and about your hoover bodies, about your chakras, about the crystal seals on the chakras, how to open them. Okay? So this is a spiritual science. So um, this is something that we all look within and find within ourselves because we talk about in the law of one, the inner Christ, the inner crystals, your inner spirit, your inner God, because God isn't outside, Christ isn't outside, Machiwa, holy ones. We got, hey, diddy, hey, diddles. Why? Hey, diddles, why? Blessing, beautiful souls. Been waiting all day for this live. <laughs> I'm sorry, it takes so long, holy one. Souls in the house. Thank you for being here, by the way. Wonderful to see you, soul. Wonderful to see you, ancient university divinity. I am. I am him, nine. Peace, my brother. Skies in the house. Machiwa, Frank Elliot. Freedom educator. Oh, is the sound low, you guys? Is anyone else experiencing lag? Freedom educator says there's lag and the sound is slow. It could be on your end right now. I have excellent connection. Uh, do a speed test on your end, like speedtest.net. So says it sounds good right after you wrote your comment. <laughs> um, our alchemist says, I call them entities. And that's fine, you guys, because you know the, many people have different ideas of what are angels, what are aliens, what are fallen angels. Oh, there's a lot of different opinions on what are Anunnaki, what are reptilians, and we're going to be talking about that tonight, yes? Machiwa. <laughs> Mickey, thank you, only one. What's up? So, welcome to my pad. <laughs> I thought it was, uh, it kind of fit, fits tonight theme, tonight's theme, another planet, another moon, another world. Other worlds where these beings are coming from, other dimensions. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Mr. William. Oh, don't forget about the Andromedan. Thank you, Andromedan. Welcome, Andromedans. <laughs> Pleiadians, Syrians, Orions, Lyrans, uh, and all kinds of aliens. Vega, v Vegans. Um, there's something called Avion. There's Arcturus. Uh, there's the Pleiadian planet Alcyon. Um, we have all types of beings who reincarnate. That means their soul comes into a body in Earth. Many of you star seeds are coming from fourth dimension, fifth dimension, sixth dimension. Reincarnate into the soul. I mean, your soul in reincarnates into the. They're called reincar or incarnates. Because this is the level of incarnation. So above there, they're immortal. So they don't die and, and do the same thing that we're doing. So realize that this is... Well, not all beings are immortal. But realize that most planets are naturally... Everything is going through... Ascension is done through while you're alive. So, But we have a major distortion on our planet because of some negative extraterrestrials they're called jehovian jehovanians the jehovanian anunnaki we'll be going into the anunnaki tonight because they're one of the big players that are involved with the human drama here and it is a big drama and and this drama that we're in right now all this political shit all the spiritual religious crap and alien crap all this stuff is coming from atlantis homies this is ain't new this is ancient and um, it's been going on for millions of years. Um, actually, humans are 560 million years old. But even before humans, they have been around for billions of years, guys. And we'll be explaining that as soon as I finally 
say hello to everyone. Sarah, Mac, I can't uh, read all everyone's comments. Thank you, Celine and Indigo, for watching our backs. Um, we have Michelle Miller, Charles Thomas, Frankie Elliott, Anuhazi Lai, Namaste, good to see you, Holy One, Stephen Vargas, and I'll be talking to you guys throughout the night. I just got to get started, and um, this is uh, an, a very interesting topic because as on your spiritual journey, you deal with aliens, and uh, doesn't mean it's a, what, what's that movie called? Uh, Encounter of the Third Kind, or what's that called? It's an older movie by Spielberg, right? Um, Encounters of the Third Kind or something like that. And also, I mean, it doesn't have to be something like that. It doesn't have to be in the flesh. You can touch them. Okay? You can still, Encounters of the Fourth Kind or Fifth Kind, you can experience aliens just as real as this, but in the dream state. In the dream state, when you're in the dream, you don't know it's a dream, right? It's real, just as real as this is until you wake up. So, that you can experience encounters with aliens in the dream state. You can experience encounters with a lot of what we call star seeds and indigos. That means we look human, but we're not human. We're part human. So, that means um, our soul is coming from somewhere else. But our body, our DNA is from our mother, our father. Our starseed DNA mixes with our mother and father. Now we have a hybrid. So the good guys are doing that. They're called starseeds or indigos. Okay. Now the bad guys, the ones that are practicing, you know, chaos. That's why we call them bad guys. <laughs> Besides, they try to hurt people and vampire people. They're also created hybrids here. We talk about Anunnaki, but there's also hybrid. Anunnaki humans living on earth with us. Okay? There's also reptilian human aliens living amongst us. Look like us. So maybe they look kind of weird, but they're still considered human. But realize one of the biggest secrets on earth is that there's a population of humans and there's a population of Anunnaki humans. And there's a population of reptilian humans. And there's a population of something not only human called Illuminati. There's like four different factions. And there's actually another one, a fifth one called the, the, the one I mentioned earlier is this, the Indigo Children. Indigo Children, Illuminati, and they're actually, the Guardians called them the Viathan. These, the, the actual, remember, they're not human. The Illuminati, the dark illuminated ones, are what you call a hybrid creature. Okay? And the Guardians call them Leviathan. So the Leviathan, Indigo Children, Anunnaki humans, Reptilian humans, and humans. There's five main types of beings on Earth. Of course there's more, but when it c comes to population-wise, uh, there's five major populations of beings on Earth. Now, you don't have to agree with that. You don't have to believe in me or anything from Ashiana Dean, which is our teacher, speaker number one of the Voyager's materials. If you haven't read those, check it out. They're on PDFs. So you can download them now. What's up, homie? <laughs> so, uh, this is a spiritual war. So let's start breaking it down. And um, when you want to understand aliens, you have to consider, you have to talk about the reality. Otherwise, this conversation is bullshit. You're not going to explain aliens. You can try. You're not going to understand God or angels or yourself. You can try without knowing the 15-dimensional reality field. Okay? Uh, the scientists would want to know the 15 dimensional reality field because they only talk about the third dimension, the carbon matter universe. But there's more, more, much more life, alien life, ET, homies, uh, meta terrestrial gangsters, ultra terrestrial guardians. What's up? 
God is great. Creation is wakoye. Uncountable. You cannot count. You can try. I said 63, but like I said, there's thousands, millions. Okay, some of you who are following aliens, ancient aliens, and some of those shows like that on Gaia or something like that, um, there's something called uh, whistleblowers or super soldier whistleblowers, secret space program. If you didn't know that was a thing, whistleblowers. People who come out and talk about these secret programs out that exist now that the rest of humans don't get to, you know, take advantage of or benefit from. There is med bays, there is advanced technologies. Hello. They tell you, they are telling us. They, it's called, what's that called? When you release information, what's it called? Come on, you know what's up. It's called disclosure, man. Disclosure has been happening, homies. Simone K, thank you, only one. Much respect. Thank you for supporting Crystal's avatar. And you guys, any of you who are jiving this, who are, who really love this channel, love this information, benefit from us, you know, from it, from, and I get a lot of your guys' messages, please consider um, supporting Crystal's avatar, just like our beloved did. Um, here we are reaching more people because of support like you. Um, your support is important. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And all of you who are members, look at the names in green and with a little six-pointed star, that's the members. You can also join and become a member and, and chat with us. Ask questions in the, in the Discord server. And um, Celine will help you with that. Indigo will help you with that. Um, Starman, he's also here, a moderator. And so thank you. I just wanted to say that real quick. <laughs> thank you, Simone. And so this is a, a big thing that all people are involved with. It's not just people on a spiritual path or the people who have seen UFOs. Raise your hand. Okay, we're going to do several polls tonight. One of them is, hey, have you seen a UFO? Because I have seen three at least. Three at least. And some that I wasn't sure about, but I'm counting at least three. Because it, it ties into this topic. Um, because a lot of people don't believe in aliens, and that's okay, but realize that there's so much paranormal, supernatural things happening. Too many photographs, there's been too many videos around the world showing these. That's the first thing you see. First, you're going to see UFOs. Then you'll have experience, you know, people, some do, people do, they're called abductees or contactees, that means they're being contacted but not abducted, or maybe you're both an abductee and contactee. This was Ashana. Ashana was both an abductee. She was abducted by the Zeta Grays. Okay, she's also met some of the, because that's what that alien race is. We'll be talking about the Grays. The race name is called Zeta. Zeta Reticuli based on what planet they're from, because there's also Zeta Regalian from Rigel. Regalian, Regalian. <laughs> um, so there's, but she was, uh, she saw some of these Zetas with blue eyes. Imagine that. So, and a lot of you have your own experiences. Now, we're going to talk about some of these aliens as being negative, but realize that doesn't mean all of them in their race are negative. It's like you say, let's say there was a whole, a whole planet, okay? and all the beings on that planet fell, that doesn't mean all of them are fallen. I just want to put that disclaimer out because some people, when I talk about the Anunnaki, they're going to say, no, Anunnaki are bad. I know. We're not talking about the good ones. We're talking about the dark ones. We know there's good ones, but the race on their planet have fallen. Just so you know, same with reptilians. Are you going to find nice dragons, nice dracos? Yes, but just know, realize that their race is fallen. The uh, Odetocrons are part avian. 
reptilian. They're fallen. Some of the dino races, dino, as in dinoid, as in dinosaur, those are an actual type of species, an actual type of DNA coming out of Vega, which left Vega, went to Orion. Now all of those uh, baddies, all of those uh, negative dark ones, fallen ones are coming out of Orion now. So let's talk about the reality. 15 different levels, 15 chakras, 15 dimensions, 15 levels of consciousness. We're living it, just realize we're humans. No, we're actually spirits having a human experience. It's the same with all these aliens. You see this, okay, but it's the consciousness inside. So don't judge a book by its cover, honey. See what comes out of their mouth, see what kind of things they do. You still shouldn't judge, but now you can be cautious or not. <laughs> Trustworthy or not, right? So, the 15-dimensional time matrix. That's a part of creation. That's not all creation. But all these aliens, extraterrestrials, and even the metaterrestrials are coming out of this piece of creation. Now, if this was a piece of creation, now, I'm showing it this size, but... It's going to be this size on the larger God worlds. Okay? There's more to God than what we've mentioned so far in the 15-dimensional time matrix. That alone is all you really need. All the other stuff is not essential for ascension, spiritual ascension. But realize that most of this talk is coming is related to this piece of creation called the 15 dimensional time matrix. Okay, so it goes from the lowest to the highest, or you can think of it as the highest to the lowest, because we all come in at the top. Same with all these aliens. Okay, you come into either what's called the meta terrestrials, the highest level. And the meta terrestrials. Oh wow, I haven't opened Photoshop. Let me open Photoshop. The photo, the, the, the uh, 99, 99 people online. <laughs> My chiwa. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the diagram. And if you become a member, you get this diagram. You guys can you know, study it. It's an excellent study tool. So this is gonna uh, give you an idea to conceptualize, conceptualize the 15 dimensional time matrix. And then we can start discussing these aliens because you, you really can't understand them unless you understand, uh, get a rundown of the 15 dimensional time matrix. Okay, God is actually outside of it. And it's God that goes inside the, the time matrix, you know, as consciousness, as collectives of consciousness. And as soon as God comes inside here, now, now it's downstepping itself. It's not a he, it's not a she. You know, there is no bodies outside the hologram. This is where you get physical bodies, inside a, a hologram. Now, I'm saying hologram like you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> hologram of matter. Notice there's distinct levels of matter. Okay, we're familiar with carbon matter, right? Well, these aliens, well, there's say, aliens coming from here too, but um, they're mostly coming from the next uh, density matter universe. You can call it a density matter universe, DU, or HU, holographic universe, because this is a hologram. I didn't mean to do that. I got to fix my mouse. What the shit? Okay, so, <laughs> so, and, and of course there's other matter, like crystal etheric matter, there's hydroplasm, there's thermoplasm, okay? This is where bodies are within, 
As soon as you go past this, you're no longer, there's no longer bodies and, and no longer penises or vaginas. That means there's no more boys and girls. God is not a boy, boy or a girl. God does not have a body. When they say you're in the image of God, well, your consciousness is in the image of God. God has no male, female, human looking form. God doesn't have any form. There is no form outside the hologram of form, hologram of matter. So this is a hologram. You say, well, it's not a hologram. Everything's physical. No, nothing's physical. Everything's vibrating. Nothing's still, nothing's solid. And these are levels of solidness, <laughs> solidness, levels of solidity. Starting with the heaviest, the lowest uh, is us in carbon matter universe. Density universe of carbon, carbon matter universe. Okay, and we're not getting anywhere. We're stuck in the 3D. And so we have all these aliens, all these aliens, man, visiting us from higher levels. Look, these are all higher worlds. And they're coming, some, they'll come down, come down into our lowly little dimension of reality. Okay? So what the spiritual life is, spiritual ascension is leaving. But humans are stuck here. They're not leaving. They're not going jack anywhere. They're stuck here. And that's another video, but hey. <laughs> so humans get here through Templar. They get here through Stargate. This is SG-1, SG-2, SG-3, Stargate 4, 5, 6, 7, all these Stargates. They're universal Stargates. They're galactic Stargates. There's sun stellar Stargates. There's planetary Stargates. Hey, there's personal Stargates. These are the chakras in your body, homie. This is how you take a Stargate, you take a chakra, and go take your consciousness to the fifth dimension. And talk to aliens in the fifth dimension, like the Quivantiliers, the Avian Nordics, you talk to the Syrians, because you're activating, as a starseed, your heart chakra, your, your throat chakra, and your third eye chakra. It's because you have these Templar, you these personal Stargates chakras opening, well, now you're starting to see these aliens, man. You won't see higher aliens like these ones unless you start opening your higher chakras, like your crown chakra, violet, like your thymus chakra, gold, like your thalamus chakra, silver, like your galactic one, galactic two, earth star. You know, all these different chakras, man, are part of your anatomy. We're learning about that anatomy. Yes? Machiwa. Oh, I never started my poll. <laughs> Shit. Wait. I, 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 I want to keep up with that. Let's, let's do that. Have you seen a UFO, remember? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Some people won't know what it was. Like, I, I can't, I'm not sure exactly. Have you ever seen a UFO or whatever they want to call it? Unidentified flying object or whatever they want to call it nowadays, right? <laughs> there we go. There's the poll. Zero percent so far. 83% say they have seen an alien. No, I mean a UFO. 83, 64%, 67%. <laughs> I can't vote. Wait, maybe I can vote. No, I can't vote. <laughs> oh, really? You saw a coyote and a fox, little alien. <laughs> All right, Bato. That used, those are both my... Um, well, definitely the fox was my spirit guide. So, And I just wanted to point out that the candle, I finally can have a candle because I took out the the glass thing. It's the glass thing that was breaking the, the green screen, I think, because there's green in there. If you can't have some... 
You know, half of my, no, more than half of my shirts I can't wear now because of the green screen. What's up? You guys, my, my thing is not loading. Are we still good? Okay. It was, it was like trying to, you know, jerk off or something. I don't know. I don't mean to be vulgar. Sorry. I just, it was being bullshit. <laughs> it seems to be okay now. 69%. <laughs> that's a high number of you have seen a UFO. I saw mine in the desert. <laughs> Stephanie's getting lit, man. <laughs> I saw mine UFO, I would say a few years ago, and um, it was in the, I don't know, maybe 9, 9.30 at night, and it was camping in the desert of Nevada, somewhere outside of Nevada, a little bit higher elevation, where there was mountains around me, because in Vegas, there's this valley, right? Not really big mountains like Arizona, but, um, but there is a few big mountains, of course, and uh, I was camping. I think it was Mountain Spring area. And so, dude, this, this UFO just suddenly out of, I just came across the sky. Uh, obvious, obviously, it was not an illusion. It was happening right in front of my eyes. And, and it started to go into cloak mode, dude. It was weird. To see it come in, you know, like a meteor or something, you see it streak, but then it slows down. Okay, it streaks in and starts going across the sky. And as it goes across the sky, it cloaked. And then did something to me because I was out of my body. Even if briefly, I was out of my body, so I knew something was up. Um, so some of you, 72% of you have at least seen the UFO. Something, I don't mean satellites. Obviously, satellite doesn't go, you know, that fast. <laughs> Obviously, you know, when you see something that's a UFO disc shape, and then uh, it's got, I saw blue energy, whatever that means. It was too crazy to understand what, what I was. But seeing actual aliens, I see aliens throughout my um, you know, spiritual journey. We all, a lot of you star seeds are seeing them. Um, for me, it's mostly the leering cat people. You would say feline humanoids or hominids. Hominids and humanoids are two different things. So, drinking my lemon water. I actually have two lemons in here. <laughs> We'll do another poll. I gave you guys a chance to answer that poll. Well, maybe wait five more minutes. I want to ask, well, what is your favorite alien movie next? Oh, I don't have to close that one. I don't think. Yeah, it's not letting me do, I have to close the other poll. <laughs> Start a poll. What is your favorite alien movie? Dude, no. In the comments, write it in the comments too, you guys. Put the, your favorite three alien movies. Whatever they are. Like movies about aliens or movies that have aliens in them. Um, in the comments, write your three favorite alien movies. But the poll, you just have to answer yes or no. Oh, that doesn't make sense. I can't ask a poll with what's your favorite movie. <laughs> There's only a yes or no answer. Okay. Oh, City of a Thousand Planets. That's uh starts with an N or what's it called? What's the first word of that movie? It's with the Pearl people. Those that that's a that's a cool movie. I love the movie. 
Valerian. You said it, Nickel. That's right. I don't know why I didn't remember. I always I use that clip a lot, so I should remember Valerian. But that was an excellent movie. And I, I, I wouldn't, you know, of course, I would also say Star Wars. Star Wars is an excellent movie for aliens. I mean, it's not a bunch of aliens, but it has, you know, a good sizable amount of aliens. Star Trek is not really a movie, and they weren't as great movies, but, um, you know, there's different movies, like uh, series, series like Star Wars. Um, so, you know, like the bar scene in Star Wars, they show a whole bunch of different aliens. <laughs> Just think about it, you guys. Um, even, even real quick, I'll say it. Emory Smith, he's one of these uh, whistleblowers. He's autopsied, seen the body parts... Remember, he's working with the secret space program. That was one of the things he did up there. Uh, well, he saw over 4,000. I think he said 4,000. At least four or 5,000. I can't remember the actual number now. But he saw at least over 4,000 different species. That's what the government knows. That's what he knew in the government. What does the actual government know of, right? Yeah, we all know about the Anunnaki, the Dracon, Draconians, the Dracos, the Reptilians. But there's a lot of ones like the... Um, well, let's just talk about some of the actual races. I mean, on the diagram. So, they come up here at the top. All right, well, according to Ashiana, they come through the metagalactic core, which is the middle, the D8, and then go to the top, and then come down. So, you have a lot of the alien races coming out of the blue flame. This is a primary founder's race. These are, this is a meta terrestrial called Elohai. It's a huge collective. Elohai, Blue Flame, Emerald Order. Okay? This is a meta terrestrial. A meta terrestrial is what makes, what, what seeds races below in the lower dimensions. So the Elohai meta terrestrial is, you would follow this ring and see that they created the Anuhazi cat race, the Anu, the Anu feline aquatic ape race. And then uh, Laren Syrian because we went to we weren't just called Larens anymore the Anahazi were Laren Syrians okay the feline hominids are actually called you don't just call them Larens you guys come on they're called Anuhazi just like the other races have their names the Laren race you know because Lyra is a star system be respectful and call them what they are they're the Anuhazi and so we have uh, this is actually where humans come from <laughs> Uh, so we have a th the Blue Flame also created these other races, the Theric Avians. That means, well, this whole level is etheric. As you can see, it's a crystal body, crystal silicate. And so um, we have Arcturans. Oh, the planets are just for human race. Th these aren't the, these are just reference for us. Earth, Tara, Gaia, Armentana. These races live on their own planets, just so you know. <laughs> Arcturans live in Arcturus, uh, the Pleiadians live in Alcyon or wherever, you know, there's different um, ones like the Pleiadian Nordics. Um, so these are all the blue flame races and then over here would be the gold flame races, but a lot of them have fallen. That's why you see a lot of red. You see some red over here because uh, one of this race uh, actually fell and became the Anu Iluhim. Now we talk a lot about this races in other videos so if you want to learn more a lot more on just this race please watch those videos it's not hard to find you can just search it on my channel um, so the Anu and the Anu Elohim are the same they just rename themselves but I wasn't gonna remove this I, I, I had to show that the blue flame made two high-level races in density 4 and it's this race who create the Anunnaki okay and notice it's in the blue flame, 
the blue flame family, the Elohai family. These are all Elohai alien races, extraterrestrial races made, it, made by the meta terrestrial Elohai and the 13th D, D13. D stands for dimension. Density is a, a level of matter, which is three dimensions each. This is a density. This is a density. But notice they're made of three dimensions. So D14 uh, is the gold flame. This is where you get reptilians. So follow this round. And you see they made uh, four founder races. Four f extraterrestrial founder races. That means these races each can make their own... They, they, they can see their own races below them. And they do, as you can see down here. They're seeding races in lower densities, lower dimensions. So the gold flame is Omicrons, Odeticrons, a a Athean, which are mantis beings, and Ceres. Now, this is the insectoid race, right? The Athean. Out of the Athean, you're going to get other races like the Zephlehim. Now, the Zephlehim is an important race. Notice it's a fallen angelic race. Insectoid reptilian serpent. These are the ones that create the gray aliens. The Zeta reticuli, Zeta regalia. This is the Zeta races coming out of the Zephlehim. Um, so this is actually bossing around the little grays. So you would say some of the tall grays are coming from here, but these are guys are more, look, look, they're insectoid reptilian serpents. These are insectoids. So the, you would say these are the daddies or the, or the creator races. This is what created the, the grays that we're dealing with in Earth. We're dealing with gray aliens. Our government has made agreements with the, these little grays. But just know the gray is, is part, you know, just know where the context is. They're a, they're a mid-level, actually low-level race. This is density too, man. It's, it's low-level. Okay, so thank you for those hearts, Holy One, whoever's doing that. Thank you so much, you guys. So this is, a, um, that was the gold flame. Now there is something else called the violet flame. But we don't talk about much about the violet flame because there's not much drama coming from the violet flame. Let's follow this one around. Okay, we got dolphins, we got whales, we got the yoni. The whales are actually whale people called Inu. We have the Pegasus, which is a winged horse. You know, so now the Necromaton is not part of the Violet Flame. They're up at the at this rank though, the same rank as Anunnaki, because they actually grab some DNA from the Anunnaki that made them. 11 strand. Okay, there's only one race that's uh, 12 strand, and that's the Anuhazi. Well, I'm not saying, I'm saying in this, all these races that we're talking about, of course, other beings have ascended to the 12th dimension already. <laughs> Sorry, let me correct myself. But this is the one out of all the ones I'm talking about that would have, you know, that is the highest level or highest um, dimension out of 12 dimensions. These aren't physical. The, the metatrusterals are not physical, so they're not, there's not even planets up here. There's no planets in density five. There's only, um, and density four is actually called pre-matter. So things are very, very ghost-like here, or not even, no, this is ghost-like here. These are the ghost-like aliens. So all these aliens, they're not gonna really be physical they're going to be somewhat ghost-like. These lion, feline hominids, ghost-like. Aqua, mermaid type of beings, ghost-like. Uh, cetaceans, uh, ghost-like cetaceans, you know, what you call etheric. They don't have walls, ceilings, floors, dirt, sky like we do. It's a whole different existence in crystal matter, etheric matter. So you're going to get all different kinds of beings. Notice that's why that's where you get the aquatic beings. More aquatic beings who live in the water, porpoises, whales, dolphins, more etheric birds. 
<laughs> you know? And also the Lyr and Siren Anuhazi. But don't forget about these malevolent... You got the dragons here too. So dragons, dracons, are actually etheric. They're etheric just like the etheric uh, avians. All these beings are etheric in this level. There's even an etheric Pleiadian ape <laughs> who's fallen. Okay, so uh, now that was... Uh, we don't have drama coming from the, the violet flame. Now, is there any distortion anywhere? Yes. There's something called the Great White Brotherhood. Now, there's an original, true Great White Brotherhood, but of course there's an imposter. You know, just like the Anunnaki are imposters telling us they created us. No. The Elohai created you. Sorry. <laughs> the Elohai created you as wipe. Okay? All you Zachary Sinchin fans saying, uh, you know, he's the one telling you Anunnaki created you. Bullshit! Look, hello! Check it out! The Anunnaki are a, a different race than us. We come from the Anuhazi, who seeds the Lyran Siren Anuhazi, who seeds the Orophene, who seeds us. Okay? This is us. This is the true humans who fall into Earth. Uh, okay? But this is the future humans where you're immortal. You're immortal, vatos! You don't die. And so, it was not the freaking Anunnaki you created us. Look at what they did. They create, it was the Anu who fall. Not the Anuhazi. Something else than our, a different race. They fell. They created a race called the Anuhazi, or no, the Anunnaki. Almost sounds the same, right? And the Anunnaki created a few races below them. Like the Anu, we got different races that have fallen. But of course the ones that, that are, like you would say, 11th dimensional Anunnaki, their soul, their soul, like we talked about a little bit earlier, will incarnate, incarnate into the earth drama. That's what star seeds are doing. Hello. Which are like the Maharaji, blue humans. They're coming through Sarai's B. Or, and, and also, I'm thinking of the indigo children. The indigo children are also coming in here um, through this uh, different DNA. They have up to 24 strands of DNA. Now, all these aliens, like we got way down here, right? Humans with three strands. Well, there's beings in the universe that have 12 strands. You know how scientists say we have double helix? That's only two. Double two. Uh, how about 12? Humans have 12. How about the Orpheme or, or indigo children? They have at least 24. Some indigos have 36, you know, but just know, just realize when you choose the dark side, you're limited to 11th dimension. You only have 11 strands. So while the guardian races are superstars, because they're not limited to 11, they could take 12. Here's another 12 over here. So you got 12 over here and 12 in the parallel universe. 12 plus 12, there's 24 right there. And it's possible to get more strands of DNA in here. And then here. You eventually, the maximum DNA you can get is 48 strands. So most of these races don't even come close. Most of these races are within 11 strands or less. But there is some, the guardian races have some super badasses, okay? Um, that's one uh, downfall of choosing the dark side. You're, you're gonna be a punk for the rest of your existence. A little D11 punk. Well, some of them are self-destructing into, into oblivion, so they won't be just stay in D11. And, and uh, we'll be going over all these alien races. I just wanna get back to chat and... Um, 
So, <laughs> what's up, homies? I think it's a good time to get lit. Let's get lit. Well, let's see who wants to get lit. Uh, put a little flame fire in the chat if you want to get lit. This actually turned out pretty good, huh? I got to be careful, though, the wax. <laughs> Much respect, homies. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna push refresh. Hopefully, it refreshes okay. There's 90. Oh yeah, baby. We're talking. We're talking. You know, get lit means get your pipe ready or get your uh bong or blunt, whatever your pleasure. And if you don't have nothing, don't worry about it. Just chill with us. We're still going to break down these alien bottles. Extraterrestrial, meta terrestrial, ultra terrestrial. We didn't talk about the ultra terrestrials yet. Oh, we mentioned them. They're outside the time matrix. <laughs> so I love you guys. It's awesome to have you um, here with me to share space with you. On this. Thank you for spending your Tuesday with me. I do feel writing will activate the light body also, says Grace. Grace Aquarius, thank you for being a member, Holy One. Much respect. Simone K in the house. Thank you for that earlier, Simone. I see a symbol I've never seen before. What is that? I've never seen that before. LS Dreamers gifted 50 Crystal Avatar memberships. What the hell? You broke a record, Vato. I, I must have been watching my video with the... I didn't notice. I'm sorry. Holy cow. No wonder there's so many members. Uh, we got Noel a member. Simone K is a member now. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, Vatos. 50 new members, man. Half of the house is members. <laughs> you guys, you know the diagram I was using? That means you can go and download it. If it's on YouTube, you, you have to go to my YouTube channel and click on the community tab. Every YouTube channel has a community tab. So please just join my community tab. And then, I mean, go in there to find the, the diagram. If you're on Patreon, you have to go inside the, my wall and find it. I put, pinned it to the top. So thank you guys. Thank you. And welcome all the new members and LS streamers. You're a badass, man. <laughs> much respect for your support. Thank you so much. And you guys, that membership will be free for, to you for 30 days. So might as well use it and come into chat and, and hang out with us. What's up? And we got resources there. People are, are all adding their wisdom and their links. They'll, you know, hey, have you seen this video? Have you heard this person? You know, I don't mind you guys talking about other people as long as you're not going into that new age shit. Then we'll have to, you know, <laughs> we, we, it's basically about the material. Mostly, you know, about the Kalantic science, you know, Ashiana Guardian material, the sliders information, even Tantri Ahura or, or anything like that. So we want to know, we want to learn. And if you guys want to get together and talk, we, we then join for five bucks. What's up? Uh, so that's awesome, Lola Streamer. So, and you guys, I, I don't need to ask the question. What? I, I don't know how this is happening. There's something else? Simone's in a good mood! Ha <laughs> Chima! <laughs> I, I hardly ever see that color. So it was a big number. I knew it was a big number. <laughs> Much respect. I mean, hug, kiss, what's up? <laughs> awesome. You're so awesome. 
And I like the little emoji, the little fox. <laughs> no, that that's 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 celebration. That's celebration time. Yeah. Oh, and I'll do my uh, what you call the incense. We gotta get the space clean, clear, clean. I mean, you guys, even if you're one of those light workers who are always in high vibes. You know, if there's anyone living in your house, if you go to the grocery store and come back, you still need to sage and clean yourself. Sage or smudge or, you know, whatever you call it. <laughs> I call it cleanse, purify. A sage stick will cleanse, purify. Incense will cleanse, purify. Mochiwa. I'm actually going to be weeding off this, you guys in the next month just so you know <laughs> like I'm consciously doing that I'll consciously smoke when I want to I'll consciously stop when I want to and I recommend you guys do the same thing now I had written a comment that someone said that Ashiana said that this can cause you issues with your fields but I had said, if anyone sees that, let us know. And no one told us. So either that person was bullshit because they didn't come forward and no one else has come forward. And if you do come forward, that'd be awesome. I just want to, want, would like you to come forward. So I am, I am easy going I am transparent and if I make a mistake I, I will say it and I have already on different on different accounts on different stuff so and we're not perfect and we're not saying we are okay so we're we're you would say what is that novice no, adept. We're adepts finding our mastery. What? Is there, is there something more? What? Someone else became a member. Bea, is that how you say your name? Or if not, please write it in the comments how to pronounce it. B-E-A, Bea, me? Became an archangel. Thank you, Holy One, for supporting Chris's avatar. And welcome to the family, right? <laughs> so we cleanse, we purify this uh, green tobacco, um, this medicine of energy, of spirit, of consciousness. We project our intention. What is your intention? How about love? Feel it. Imagine love going into your smoke. Imagine love or joy, bliss. Psychic visions, psychic perceptions, send it on in, holy ones. This is a teacher. Ask it what, it, what you want it to teach you or show you. It's a spirit. You co-create with spirit. You co-create. So once you do this, you're going to feel it affect your chakra. You, this is your chakra, your third eye, your throat. What I mean is, you'll start feeling it. There, 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 your feet, uh, on your hands. You will feel it. At least you could, you should, you can. And if you can't, doesn't mean you won't or can't. You can learn in this lifetime. So we just charged it. I just need my... I love these. If you if you guys ever see these, get them. They're worth it. They're like online. You can get them for you know less than five dollars. The 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 straight ones are cheaper. You can find these for like two dollars. But I don't care. I want. I'll pay a few dollars extra for this one. This one's this is so cool. Look what it does. It goes right to where you want it. Right. <laughs>
So believe it or not, meditation, going into a deep state, or you would say relaxation without falling asleep, there's no point in falling asleep. It takes discipline actually to prevent yourself or to get in the habit of staying awake. This is how, through meditation, you can find and meet an alien. Now, I mean, you, you're not sit, you don't want to sit there and play around with things you don't understand, right? Like a Ouija board or something. You don't know what the heck. F is a spirit, a ghost, or a demon, or, a, or whatever. Then why are you playing, messing around with that? You learn to go inside. Okay? No, understand, realize that w from these teachings that this is a hologram, that means everything is coming from inside you. There's nothing out here. There is no out here. It's This is an illusion. So all these worlds, all these aliens, you're projecting them. And participating in this collective experience with other ascended masters also projecting their consciousness down here you project your consciousness down here in density 5 in density 4 density 3 density 2 density 1 you projected yourself in all these levels there's a piece of you that's how the hologram works there's a piece of you in all of these levels Okay. Existing simultaneously. Now humans talk about time. The guardians remind us time doesn't exist. But realize that it's an illusion based on energy mechanics, energy structures. That consciousness goes through these energy structures. Consciousness is energy. Energy is conscious. So energy, consciousness, goes through the energy structures that was created by creator. Creator created a, an illusion. It created something to appear as solid. But nothing is solid. Nothing is physical. I'm getting a lag notice. That happens on my show sometimes, but it almost always goes away. And if it doesn't, that means I'll be making a part two. Uh, within five minutes if I get disconnected so we have God and Creator create downstepped itself so if this is God that encompasses everything everything is in God all these alien races all these negative alien races Everything, not just some things, all things. The guardian, the ancients used to call this the unisai. Some people call it God. Some call, people call it Allah. Some people call it Brahma. Whatever you call a creator, that all-encompassing being. We know there's one God. There's only one creator. And God downstepped. Ta da when God, cre you know, this is how it's talk. It's mentioned even in Voyagers too. You can look up the word downstep. The, the God downstepped itself to experience itself, to explore itself, to know itself. Why would God stay in one place? God's always creating. Uh, he's called creator. I, I didn't mean to say he. Sorry. <laughs> Remember, I was a Christian for most of my childhood in high school. So that's just freaking. God is an it. Let me correct myself. <laughs> Creator made creation, made a creation in a different vibration than itself. So that is a downstep from the Creator. It's a downstep. So guess what that means? If that's a downstep from God, here's God, here's the downstep. 
That means it's lesser. Not in equality, but lesser in energy. Lesser in consciousness. Everything's equal. Because this and this and this and this and this and this, all of this, everything is God. So nothing is less or worse or right or wrong. That's one of the hardest things to accept law of one. You don't accept that murderers are God. That's not true. You're I'm lying. <laughs> I have no intention to under you know lie to you, holy ones. In our belief system, in our teachings, you don't go against someone's free will at all. So give, telling them what they shouldn't do is going against their free will. That you're, you're imposing your will is going against their will. Against their God sovereign free right to choose for themselves. There is no judgment in God. That's a distortion of the distortions of a distortion. That's the low vibe you're catering to. So, alien homies, homo sapiens, what's up? Sapiens, sapiens, what, what? What do you think you are? Homo erectus? Neanderthal! I'm tripping out because I, I'm like my brain is going back to a time when I heard Ashiana talking about you know the cro magnums there's five levels of cro magnum and you want to know why because the fallen angels the Anunnaki, wow, what a surprise, uh, effed with our DNA, created some hybrid, not very good, and what the Guardians did is they took that hybrid that the Anunnaki created and fixed it, but it had to be fixed in stages, that's how the genetics changes work over time like that different versions and so there's actually five crow magnums and this has to do with the where the race of the viathons the the illuminati are coming from some some weird hybrid like this so they're part human yes but they're also part alien dude i mean they're not dudes i mean dude to you, you know. hey dude what's up so remember earlier i said there's five different types of people here on earth and that's one of them the leviathons the guardians call them leviathons on earth we call them the illuminati the dark illuminated ones i call because i don't like to say the other hashtag mokuye That's in Voyagers too, guys. Just just search Control F if you're on computer. Uh, Cro Magnum. It will jump to the part in the PDF where you're. That's why I like the PDF instead of the book. You can you can instantly find something on a PDF. So before I ever buy a book, I I always go find a PDF first. And because that way, man, I can, I can, it's like information that's even searchable for me on my computer now. I can control F, find something like that on PDF. So on, on Voyager's 2 PDF, control F, uh, 
Cro-Magnum, if you know how to spell that. If not, just put Neanderthal. You'll find it in the same section. See, you know how religious people give Bible scripture verses? We, we can give page numbers to voyagers. That's, it's not a Bible, but that's our Bible, you could say. Okay, that's what, start, that's what changed all of us who are part of this. Most of you here are following Ashana's work. What happened? Oh my gosh, we have this thing again. I'm better than you, Charles. <laughs> you said it, Christian. Yeah, guys, crazy shit. They don't like me talking about truth. I said too much of that hashtag already. Rastafari man. You're doing that ganja, Charles. <laughs> Excuse me. I swear, I'm not bragging, man. But I swear, I believe I'm part of the the Rainbow Ray. You know why? Because on that on my on that last medicine one, I I was hardcore seeing rainbow, hardcore undeniable Rainbow Ray. It was blessed. Yeah, that's bullshit that that happened to my ch to the live, you guys. Sorry. It kicked you guys off. But the live is still going. So, I, so it didn't c shut it off, at least. <laughs> but I lost 80 people. <laughs> Hopefully, a lot of you guys will come back. Looks like some of you are coming back. Bless you guys. Understand, um, this happens on my channel almost every live at least you know i don't know shit i mean i just it's been happening a lot at least i should be i should be not so not so using so many hashtags right i should be more low-key <laughs> yeah man but we're talking about controversial kind of stuff you know because well, we can talk about a bunch of aliens but for some reason there's more drama when you start talking about the Anunnaki or the reptilians or the dragons. They're the same, but it's a different family. Just like the uh, reptilian avians are a different family. Well, there's something called dragon moths, Omicron. And what was one of those strains called? Uh, why are they using fallen angelic names? They know what's up. Uh, they know who the Anunnaki are. They know who the reptilians are. The the systems and planets and beings and Orion, and uh, Vega and wherever, Sirius A. You know, just like there's some lovely, wonderful Pleiadians. Hello, uh, they're part of our DNA actually. Uh, they're like cousins, but there there's actually negative ones too. So don't forget about that. Like an entire race of dark Pleiadians. No, real. They're called the Luciferians. The, you know, the, the Luciferians actually came out of the Inky race, but it was integrated to, into a hybrid to create a Pleiadian, a dark Pleiadian, like a, a what I just said, a, a Pleiadian Luciferian. That's how, that's how they're called in Voyagers 2. And they're coming out of Nibiru, though. I believe, don't quote me on it, but I know for sure Marduk, Inky, and Enlil are coming out of Nibiru. That's why you got this whole freaking Anunnaki from another planet. These aliens from Nibiru come to our planet and F with us. F with our DNA all the way back, not just in modern time. Yes, it's happening now, but since freaking Atlantis and Lemuria, they were effing with us. They killed the Lemurians. Wipe out a whole race. Of course, some survivors went to inner earth. 
and some survivors were taken off planet Pleiades and the Pleiades you know Alcyon uh, we became brothers and sisters united because of this disaster but still they became our friends and same with Arcturus became our friends now once again we're not saying all Arcturans are good because all of them aren't as you saw in that diagram if you were looking at when I showed the diagram someone wants to get lit again um, well shoot you're like a I showed the different races. Um, I didn't go through the dark ones yet, but but I just mentioned them right now, though. The Marduk, Inki, and Enlil, and the Pleiadian, Luciferian. Uh, and also, I believe the Semyasi Pleiadians are Luciferian. They're dark. So there's a bunch of dark ones, too, man. So, and we know, even on our planet, there's a there's a, a population of dark humans, fallen angelics, souls, you know, one of the hybrid Anunnaki human or hybrid Anunnaki reptilians. Those are the most biggest population of hybrids. And then, you know, humans. And then the indigo children. There's all kinds of weird shit going on here, guys. Like, we think it's, it's just strange to have some the aliens and stuff. And like, some people think it's impossible to even for them to get here. Thank you for those hearts, holy ones. Um, well, there's plenty of people who believe in it, who know it who experience the paranormal, who experience the supernatural. It's not really supernatural, but down here it is considered because down here the norm is not even feeling any psychic things. Remember, you guys, there's only 10 million to 15 million, and that could be a very, it's, that's not a very, you know, like, that's, that's a very flexible number. Well, not very flexible. No. I mean, it's not going to be more than that. <laughs> That's what I meant. And, and remember, we even on my live, we figured out on a calculator. If it's 7.88 billion on Earth right now. You know, you take the calculation. What's, what's going on with my live, dude? Did my live just end? I got to push refresh again. Sorry, guys. They're giving me some problems. Lost some more people again. It's the ads. Oh, maybe you're right. No way. I wonder if I can make it so it doesn't have ads. Are you, are you, you mean during the live you guys get ads? No way. That's infuriating, right? How could they f, f with our freaking show? Doesn't that realize that even hurts them? <laughs> Idiots. Because not everyone will come back. So they just they just made the people get off of YouTube. Stupid ass. Or at least go to a different channel. I'm going to Google search that later, guys, because I want to know what the F that's about. Because it takes everything on my channel, I mean, on my live, everything goes down to the bottom. Now there's 29. You see, it was more back down to 29 people. <laughs> you guys know it's uh, while people are coming back, let's get lit. While people are coming back, let's get lit. And I, I need a, a grinder. So can you let me get my grinder, Bato? Like uh, nine seconds. Cheers. 
Amakayewasa Mochiva Kuyemo Mosuge Katsaye Mosuba Mahaye Kamahahewa Sokuwa Komata Haye Masuwa Kama hatasa imakaye. <laughs> Aliens and UFOs battles. We're good. We're good. Yeah. How you doing? I feel good. And sometimes when you feel good, you're silly and it's okay. Don't judge. Don't hate. Be loving. What, have you tried that on lately? When's the last time you feel joy? Hey, I'm going to put a post right now. When's the last time you felt joy, Starseed, homie? Woohoo! Baby, we got this. What was my question? When? What? What's going on? When? Was the last time you what? What was my question? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, baby. Welcome. Welcome to Christos Avatar Live, where we don't mess around. You came to the real deal. We connect to the higher energy, the higher evolution, the higher spirit, bringing it on in this uh, transmission of that soul, that spirit, that aliveness within, that inner God, that inner Christos, Christ, Mochiwa. You are finding this journey. I forgot what I was gonna do, a pull on. So let's just make, it, make up a pull. When's the last time you felt joy? I don't know. <laughs> When, have you felt joy, joy lately? It's either a yes or a no. There's no maybe. Have you felt joy lately? Are you happy? But it has to be related to aliens, right? Who's the funniest joyful alien? Yeah, you guys write it in the comments. Uh, which alien in the movie is the funniest or cutest? Cutest or funniest? Like, I like the little Mac and me. <laughs> you can put your top three cutest aliens. E.T. phone home, right? Mac and me. And I would say... <laughs> you know, Mac and me's got his mouth open like this. But yeah, you guys, see, a lot of us get our ideas about aliens from movies, right? So you're watching this dude with long hair and, and hippie shit and talking about aliens. He's, he's like, what the hell is he talking about, right? <laughs> you don't know jack shit, brother. Makaya. And that's okay, you know? But most of you are here, uh, you've been here again. Wow. What a gift. You're a blessing. You're my sunshine. You're what I was missing, Vatos. Girls and boys. Achiwa. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. Yeah. Where's my incense, right? Bad Davian. No incense. Alright, my lovely lovelies. <laughs> Did I say a third one?
The little gremlin, the little mog, mogwai, mogwai, the, the the little the little mogwai from Gremlin. That was cute. What was his name? They called him something. Dude, that's an alien. Gremlin's an alien. Oh shit. He's obviously not from this freaking world. Yeah, baby. E.T. Phone home. Elliot. <laughs> Be good. Yeah. Put the finger down, man. <laughs> <laughs> so the, you know uh, can you call the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi Star Wars you know that was that was a cute alien <laughs> baby Yoda is a cute alien McCoy yeah Chiwasu. Okay. All right. I'm like tripping out. I need my glasses. Then we go into outer space without a UFO. It's called using your light vehicle, your Merkaba. So you be flying across the space and then out into outer space. You know it. You see all kinds of aliens in your, uh, in, you know, when you go out of your body or have a near death experience or you, you start hearing, you know, like the kid in the sixth sense starts seeing dead people or, or you start getting abducted every night or every month or whatever, you know, it's like, what's going on? So what's, Dude, there's six, six, seven, sevens, six, seven, seven, seven. I'm, I just saw three sevens. What does that mean? Uh, I usually don't see sevens. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> and it's 77, and it's seven, seven, six views. A bunch of sevens all of a sudden came into my field. Someone, oh, oh, wait, that's not so important, but... I just saw a 22. I'm, I'm going overboard, huh? <laughs> yeah, baby. I got to put some frankincense. I ain't delaying no more. Are you having fun yet? Starseed, yeah. Give me five and to go. Yeah. Chicas moi. I've been to outer space, inner space, you know, parallel earth, inner earth. Uh way up there in the in the densities. Damn. Those are weird worlds, man. You can see your soul and your oversoul. And your avatar, homie. You know, it's like a collective, big collective. You are a collective, a, a, a family. They call it the personal crystals. It's your personal Christ, your inner Christ. That is where you're gonna find love unconditional. Love and also joy, bliss, mindfulness, come into the now, yes? And you will find a higher piece of yourself. Why not explore consciousness like we're doing here? Exploring like that titanium. Ah, yeah. 
I always wanted, I, I always could not stand those tiny ass, what are they, one and a half inch? It's like tiny as shit. Hell no, this is a, a two inch? This might be a two inch or bigger. I, I might, it might be three inch. But it's got a big, you know, blade. See the teeth? I mean, the size. See, we got to put some medicine inside the teeth and crunch it up. What's up? We, we, we have to get flour. That would help. You know, green tobacco. <laughs> I know you guys have joined this, uh, this out of this world party, right? What the hell is it not coming off? What the, what's going on? Do I need a screwdriver or something? I'm not gonna kill myself. <laughs> we got this. You got this. We got this. <laughs> Do you guys remember the 80s and 90s and early 2000s? Good note, baby. I'm not, I'm not that old man. Awaka, yeah. I know, I'm not saying I'm ancient and shit. <laughs> I'm actually, a, hey, this isn't a flathead, dude. I shouldn't have to need one. I think I squeeze it or something, right? No, there's no squeeze point, man. Come off, asshole. Why did they make it adult proof? Or is it just Stavian proof? I, I don't know. <laughs> and this is live. Wrong one. You know, when your dad always tells you to get a screwdriver, you always got the wrong one. You know, he always wanted the opposite one. A flathead, a Phillips. What the F, man? Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, of course. Okay, I guess. Sorry about that, guys. I got an actual flathead this time. Yeah. And and this is when we're just hanging out, man. I don't know where you guys are or what you're doing with yourself. Are you playing? Yeah, I you doing? It's like strong smell, you know, when you smelled it. <laughs> it's like ripe, you know, damn, and it's very green. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I got to use a screwdriver to open this. It's adult proof, man. It's hippie proof. So, but yeah, you guys, um, this is a big drama with these aliens. I mean, this is not a, you know, a joke, you know, we, we have a, a lot of suffering happening because of them. You know, that's why Lisa Renee calls them the negative alien agenda because they all, they actually, um, Ashiana, she breaks it down a lot of the different agendas. 
there's a lot of different coalitions, like different groupings of these, of these, like, let's say three planets or three different races three uh, would uh, go into a, like a confederation, uh, you know, some type of grouping to become more stronger or maybe for trade or maybe for science or maybe for military uh, or whatever. Depends. I used to play Master of Orion and Deadlock. I like space simulation games so much, man. Um, anyways, we should have plant now. Okay, now we can do my pipe. I love you guys. Thank you for your patience. You're awesome. You're cool, man. What's up? What's up, homies of light? I mean, I don't know about you guys. If Do you have a lot of, like, uh, family who also follow these teachings? Put it in the comments. I want to... I want to know. I'm interested. Because I'm the only one in my family who, who follows these teachings. I tried, you know. Uh, and, and, you know, while religious people will be very... Uh, trying, to, trying to recruit you to their side, right? Well, we're chill. The law of one doesn't care what you believe in. I mean, we, we hope that you're trying to ascend, you know. But we're... We're not, there is no dogma in love one. So we're like, just rocking and rolling, homie. Coming together as a community of Christos power. Yeah. What's up? Star seed, ET homies. Yeah. Even, even, even humans are aliens, extraterrestrials. We're not terrestrial here. We didn't, we didn't come from here. And we want to go back to where we did come from. Okay, you guys, because uh, we're suffering down here. The planet is suffering. Now, there is going to be a divide, you would say, different timelines. Because a lot of people will fall and some are... Um, and realize, this is all based off of your thoughts. It's not some conspiracy or some something's after you uh, or controlling you. You know, remember, you're just a one life out of 12 of your soul. So you have 12 of you that make up you make up the soul. There's 12 incarnates. That's you're just one. Remember there's six pairs of twin flames, so that's 12. 2 times 6 is 12. Six pairs. Male, female, male, female, male, female, male, female, male, female. Male, female. So It's weird to think of myself in a dress and with breasts and you know and having to give birth or something and have to deal with menstrual cycles. Wow, fun, huh, ladies? I have to do disgusting stuff. Like, you know, and usually women get stuck with having to change baby diapers and stuff, which is disgusting, right? Maybe you guys think it's a blessed moment, but I, I don't want to be near that. I don't know why. It's like some weird, weird sensation comes over my whole body to hurt, to run, run, no stinky diaper. <laughs> Ask my daughter how many diapers I changed. <laughs> No, because then you'll hate me. Or not 
be happy with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you love, grace, happiness, wisdom, intuition, abundance. Yeah. <laughs> So, there is a struggle between aliens and other aliens. Really, it's a struggle between light and darkness. We know it's a polarity. There is going to be an opposite in the polarity. Creator created this, hello, uh, particle, anti-particle? God made it a polarity. Yin, yang, you know, two of a whole. It's like male, female are both make an androgynous being. More incest. So, it, this, this thing happened a long time ago, you guys. You know, because um, according to the Guardians, you learned this ancient history. You know how old this our multiverse is? Our multiverse, which includes five universes, density one, carbon matter universe, density two, carbon crystal universe density three etheric is called a uh, crystal silicate matter density four liquid light pre-matter density five they call it antimatter thermoplasm hot plasma okay Moku yeah. Oh yes. You have all of this uh, down stepping because remember we I, I spent some time on it tonight talking about God down stepping itself. Well, the, those creations of God called the ascended masters. There's three levels of that. These three levels of, of consciousness created races in hologram fields. So, according to the material, you'll learn in basic Kathara that there's a 24 time matrices and they're, they're even paired up and then in quadruple form and that's doubled and that's quadrupled and all that it, it's amazing how this knowledge goes so freaking far-reaching this inner crystals freedom teachings tantra uhura teachings kathara teachings sliders teachings these are freaking these should be the main books in your library this should, this is what you should be mastering in your life and, and introducing into your children's life uh, this is what, how we're going to transmute the world. We will be masters. We're not masters yet, but we will be. We're on our way. We're rising stars, star seeds, Christ stars. Say it with me. I am Christ star. And you can visualize a pure white six-pointed star when you say it in your third eye, in your mind, in your third eye, in your mind, in your third eye. 
C is six pointed star. In what color? What color? Arakaya. <laughs> You're learning, young Jedi, young Grasapa. <laughs> yeah. Because we are in a spiritual war, you guys, and you know there has to be a great battle. You can expect a great battle, right? I, hey, you guys, I just, uh, this is one of those times where I say you, you decide because I don't know how to rate that comment, okay? So j you decide on that count. Because here, when I, you know, take some of this medicine, obviously I'm connecting to some of my other selves. And, and granted, I always pray before, when I say pray, I mean communicate with the, that 13th dimensional blue flame, Edo High. Um, that is my people. I mean, I know I'm part violet flame for sure. Maybe even half half. Because there's a big chunk of me that's violet flame. So, but I'm also blue flame speaker. So I, I call myself a blue flame speaker because there's been so many signs in my own spiritual and psychic experiences that I, just seems to be like you guys will have these extraordinary, divine, sacred freaking unbelievably like really high level high level sacred I don't I don't know what that's saying you just feel gratitude and happiness because you start to see what you're part of what we're all part of but you are witnessing it now through your understanding through your awakening through your ascension You want to change, holy ones. You don't want to stay on earth. You don't want to stay on this timeline. We, the guardians remind us of what happens. You, you have incentive to ascend. Go into the new timeline. Aurora. Mokuye. Mosuchi. Sikeiwa. I can allow this to come through. Your brother Thavian is still here. If things okay, I'm just gonna allow it to come through. Let me put some copal on. some reason I desire Kupal. I would like some of my Amber. How are you? <laughs> you are fine. She You are powerful. Don't let religion tell you otherwise. It's popping, so I'll keep a little bit from my face. But the smell is so strong, especially the amber. Mm. Feels good. You can feel it. You should be able to feel this consciousness. That's what it is. You're co-creating with frankincense and and benzoin and amber and copal. Yeah. I mean, you guys, I'm here. Everything's okay. I just feel good. That's all. And everything's positive. Don't worry. Ah, cool, yeah.
I mean, think about that, you guys. The these beings that we they're connecting to, kind of like this, they're part of your family, they're your soul family, your your own. They're inside you. We don't talk about channeling where it's coming from someone coming into you, your fields. You don't want that. And if something ever is, and you're aware of it, you're consciously you can feel it. You 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 put all all of it outside you. And let me refresh the page. I love you guys. You're beautiful. And I did show that diagram and there was over 63 aliens on there. But if this camera comes back on, I hope it does. I'll show you the diagram. Watch you. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> Boss man. <laughs> I feel so beautiful. <laughs> Chicas. Meditate with your crystal. Why? Powerful, you're powerful. You guys, if we get disconnected, I'm gonna make a part two. Bless you. Just refresh my page after a couple of minutes and I should have a part two made. Yeah. <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> you give me goosebumps, baby. Yeah. And, and you know, some aliens are nice. Some aliens are, are loving and positive and they'll come to you, you know, so you don't be frightened maybe as your spirit guide, but it's really some alien dude or chick up there and it's, or androgynous one, you know, and, it, or asexual one, <laughs> non-sexual. <laughs> I used to say non-sexual, <laughs> non-sexual, asexual. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Mochivas. So you can see there's more than just male and female. There's also there's also male, male and female. Yeah, that's what they said. So two gen two two both a penis and a vagina, apparently. What's that called? Can you, like, have sex with yourself? I'm, like, tripping out, man. <laughs> I'm wondering if they do, right? You would think they would try it <laughs> when they come of age. <laughs> when they come of age, your, 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 your other head is sniffing around and it's not far away. Damn, shoot, no, it didn't take long. No, shit. You're nasty, Damien. Stop it. Okay, I'm sorry. Not sorry. I'm just being raw. Unadulterated. Uncensored. <laughs> That's why they're censoring me, man. That's why we're putting lag on the show so people leave and shit. <laughs> you guys are so beautiful. Isn't there a song about that? You're so beautiful in every way. <laughs> yes, you! Don't let anyone tell you different, brother, sister. You are children of God. What's up, man? What can they say? What can they do when you're a child of God? When you know it, you're aware of it. You are it, you speak it, you know what's up. You know you are one of those, right? <laughs> it's like, you know, funny how some people don't even believe in aliens, but then they'll be involved with one or some shit like that, you know? That's here on Earth, 
and they don't always reveal their true form. They have technology or even natural abilities to shape shift. Like we think it's impossible. That's bullshit. No, no, it's possible. So is shape shifting, you know, or invisibility. I mean, you know, so it's like, um, things that are kind of like forbidden knowledge that it's made to be looking like a fairy tale and, or some movie or something in the fantasy section. Right. So we're like, uh, keep it to ourselves <laughs> and not everyone's going to understand. We, 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 what do we lose people again? Yeah, it looks like we lost people again. Sorry, guys. I love you. They're just going to have some more advertisements. Was that an advertisement? Another local advertisement? What's up? <laughs> yeah. We are doing this. Finding our self inside oneself. That means you look inside. Close. Now that forces you to see what? I don't see nothing. Exactly. You see nothing now. Now you must what? I don't know. What do you mean? What am I supposed to do? You think. You see. You visualize. Because it's dark. It's black. So now you're forced to see something. Right? <laughs> I love you guys. I want to I wanna hug you. Give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some kisses. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. I need a drink of water. <laughs> Shit. My my lips get stuck, right? You always know by the end of the show, a lot of us are just feeling very happy and giggly and silly. Sorry. But that's why I thank you for your patience. Because uh, uh, that won't always be like that, but right now it is. So that's that's what's up. I love you, passionately. Yeah, unconditionally. What's up, baby? Yeah. And I want you guys to know if you if you watch any of my videos, thirty three, thirty three people. Wow, cool. Please make sure you hit the like button. Yeah, hit the like button. Batos, what's up? Yeah. Smash, Hulk smash, like button. Like, what's up? Yeah. You can subscribe and you can join. Yes. Wow, 50 memberships today and more, I think. Wow. It was a trippy night. Is it a special alignment, you guys? Is there some alignment out there that's special? Is it a full moon or what's that called? New moon? Sorry, I don't follow that stuff. <laughs> Man, we how do you guys like the background, man? Or or no, you only want stuff from Earth. I I wanted to go beyond Earth, you know, beyond the terrestrial. And um, it it would be nice to <laughs> to have sex, you know. <laughs> Like, you always say that to your partner. <laughs> what? I don't have a partner, but I'm saying I just, you know. <laughs> Dude, the, the couple goes like that. They tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, let's have sex. Or did they just start being frisky 
and then that's a sign. <laughs> Sorry guys, you know I get real silly at the end, right? <laughs> but it's all good. We're on another planet. We got a license to be out of this world. Are you out of this world? Do you see? With your third eye, not these eyes, but this one. Open, open, holy ones. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you from Fabian, but also the Guardian Alliance. Um, there was one person who bought an Orlite wand. I'm sorry I shipped it out late, but I was so darn busy. I'm so sorry. But it, it went out today. You should get it by the weekend. Weekend. Yes. I shoot for the weekend. Yes. I love you. <laughs> and that crystal's awesome. Good choice. You got good taste. Yes. But hey guys, what's going on? If you guys like tonight's broadcast, please make sure to to leave a comment, say hi, Davian, or, or something. You know, bring some more joy because someone's reading your comments too. Say say bring some love to the rest of the community. I know some of you are already doing that. Blessings to you. You're so like blessed. You're sacred, holy one. Yeah, all of you. Just know that inner peace within yourself, and be this beacon, a shining, bright, brilliant light, shining light brightly to all around you that you can see. Imagine in your room, it's shining brightly. You can imagine and tie your entire house, your it's shining brightly. You can imagine the whole neighborhood shining brightly. You can imagine the whole city shining brightly, the whole state, the whole region, the whole country, the whole continent, the whole world, the whole solar system. You keep going into all these arena levels of yourself. You're this mighty being. And we learn the science behind it. It's so awesome to understand this creation science. Amahone. See, you know how the gangsters have their their signs, you know, you know, like East LA shit and Crips and Bloods and Well. Well, the Guardians have their signs. <laughs> What's up? We have our code. Because we serve lie. That's our call sign. Peace. Peace. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, they attacked this show too much tonight, you guys. I said the... Uh, I said the word Illuminati too many times. That's why. Sorry. I love even them because you love all. <laughs> you guys are brilliant. Anuhazi. Yeah. You can feel this heritage. You can connect to it, man. It's not lost and gone forever. It's forever and ever. You will find this level of yourself. And you're trying to bring more conscious of your consciousness into the body. Anything from that higher level, fourth dimension, astral, fifth dimension, archetype, sixth dimension, celestial, 
we're bringing that into the body here, the 3D body. So, we're reintegrating our soul level of consciousness. We are the angel level. That's what the third eye is, remember? Sixth chakra, sixth dimension, throat chakra, the heart. Those are the three soul levels of consciousness. Then you go into, which is angel, then you go into the archangel level, which is the oversoul level, it's called. And then beyond the oversoul level, you have the avatar. Remember, that's pre matter, liquid light. Okay? And the primal light fields above it, th thermal plasma, uh, Chikaye, also called the Kirushe. Ki Ra She. Another trinity. So. I love you guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me tonight. I guess I'm gonna let you go for now, you guys, because it's getting close to nine o'clock Pacific Standard Time. But it's been an honor hanging with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Much respect to you guys. Much respect. Reach out. Reach out to the crew, you know? Join Crystal's crew, ho, homies. It's only for five dollars, you know. Nowadays, what that can buy, and that, that's helping a big, an important thing. So, thank you for supporting Crystal's avatar. I, I don't, I can't do this without you, and I appreciate you guys so much for being here with me. Seriously, your time's important to me, and um, that's why I do this live regularly, and I keep creating new videos. And I, I still promise to work on the Cathara. I, I, I just, uh, you know, doing my best right now. So I love you guys. Thank you again for those donations. Thank you again for for those new memberships. 50 new members plus tonight. I, that was a record. You you got some of you broke records, man. Damn. Holy cow. What a blessing. That's why I was wondering, is there an alignment tonight? <laughs> you guys are awesome. Peace to you. I love you. Let's have a picnic and just talk together. Whatever you want. Come on. You make you bring the picnic. I will bring the blanket and the pillows and I will bring some of the food and wine. And cheese, yeah. <laughs> you know, when I was in Ukraine, and if I was dating a girl, she always wanted champagne. Uh, so, okay, princess, say, yeah, here's some champagne. More cool, yeah. I guess girls like sweet, and guys like more strong drinks, right? <laughs> Something that tastes. It, like, if you've never drank vodka before in your life, for the first time, it's horrible, right? Oh, what is that? Wasn't that al rubbing alcohol? You know, <laughs> shit. Isn't that vodka, like, 80% or something? Some crazy shit, like moonshine or some. Awaka, yeah! But it was a good live. I think, I, I guess we didn't get to cover all the aliens, but uh, there was a good portion of them I did. And um, I can always do, what? I can always do a part two, you guys. Seriously, let me put the right glasses on. Patty Paparazzi, what's up? Camera's flashing. Paparazzi in the house. What's up, sister? <laughs> She's so awesome. 
Superstar, superstar, we're cruising in a limousine with the spa on top. What's up? <laughs> yeah. We're going to the point, man. That's like a fancy freaking, like, in, in Phoenix, Arizona, I used to live there for a while. Um, that was like a tuxedo type of place, you know? <laughs> One of those five star, supposed five star restaurants. Oh yeah, what's a five star restaurant? Some little green shrubs and just laid bro pretty with some sauce dripped across the plate. And that's supposed to be a $200 plate or some crap, right? <laughs> yes, and some champagne and caviar. That's another few hundred. It's like, it's like when you go to the club, like, like I, like I spent twelve hundred dollars or something on my birthday, throwing a birthday for myself to be, and there was several of my Ukrainian friends, you know, Ukrainian Russian friends, Machiwa, Mokoye, <laughs> Masutas. I was the American, so I was the one who always paid basically, because they don't make as much as us. And I'm talking about like 2007, that kind of range, you know. It's not recent history of Ukraine, okay? Sorry. I'm a shit does. I mean, this, look at me now, you know. That was when I was a model. This is when I'm 53 years old. <laughs> I'm not dead. I still got something, maybe not much, but something. <laughs> Sorry guys, it, it's like that. It's like that. We tight. We we just make it juicy tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spunky. I hope you are. If you're like. Serious all the time. You're no fun. No, we're not gonna hang out with you next time. Sorry, don't don't take it personal, but it kind of is. <laughs> you know, it's all good, guys. Aren't you feeling happy and joyous? Don't you feel like making love to a stranger? You know, no, that's disgusting, Davy. What's up? No, I was just joking. You know, I don't know. <laughs> of course, I would only want to make love to someone I love. Of course. I love you. Let's make love. You know, in The Sims, when I used to play The Sims, <laughs> uh, you, you can create Whoopi with one of your... I used to make the boy... And make the girl, because I had two computers, right? And then make them meet each other. I don't know how I did it, but anyways. <laughs> Dude, it was weird, because some of those games, like one time I used to play EVE Online, and I was I had my own business, so I had a bunch of computers, but I used them all to play, no, after hours, after the employees weren't there anymore. Uh, I used them all on EVE Online to have like five giant ships together. <laughs> Which I discovered was impossible to control so many different keyboards and mice. It was ridiculous. But it was cool to mine with five different computers. Mine asteroids, you know, and you got one, one taking it out. Like the giant tanker, right? He's taking it all out and to the base and back and you guys filling more ore in there and then you take it back to the base and then come back you're mining asteroid belts for precious minerals you get that refined the ore refined and then you get make money off of the precious gems right so it's like crystals baby and metallurgy you know And you can like, um, 
use implants or upgrade your implants, have slots for different implants. You know, they talk a lot about this. Thank you for those hearts, by the way. You're so kind. All this uh, darkness and AI and stuff. Or end of the world stuff. They're trying to get you to think of the end of the world so you can cause the end of the world. You don't know how powerful thought is, especially a group thought. That's truly profound. What do you think movies are for? To move, to create group thoughts. To create egregores, you know, energy. Then they can manipulate that energy. You know, create a sensation. Anyways, that was a long goodbye, right? <laughs> I love you, sweethearts, holy ones. You guys are my brothers, my sisters. Much love to you. Let, let, let's do it, Celine. Let's do this. We got this. Peace to you guys. Much respect. Have, have a crazy uh, lucid dreams. And bless all those around you. Bring in divine light. Be a Christ star. Raise your consciousness. Improve your energies. We always got room for growth and improvement. Namaste. Peace and love. Let's make love. Yeah. Good night, sweetheart. Let's magic <laughs> I'm just happy. Can I be happy? No, you're bothering me. Go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you having a bad day? Where should I start? <laughs> Love you guys. Yeah. I got an extra hug in there. Yeah. Especially you. <laughs> Love you guys. Don't be naughty. Be nice. I am nice. I'm, I'm romantic. <laughs> See, red is for protection. Red, yeah. It's just empty, man. <laughs> All right, you guys. Peace and love. <laughs> Seriously, try to have lucid dreams. Go explore consciousness, man. You'll see some aliens. Look outside, 3 o'clock in the morning. You'll see UFO. What's up, Fatos? Fatos alive. <laughs> Gangsters, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're loco. You're loco. No, you're loco. Uh uh. Uh uh. You're loco. You're mucho loco. No, you're loca. You're loca. You're loco. It's a uh... <laughs> good night. <laughs> you're crazy.